Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and this is Let's Talk Tools. <clears throat> Today we've got this Ryobi 10 inch miter saw that we're going to be doing a review of. I've had this miter saw for probably about 14 ish months already. And I figured it's about time we do a little bit of a review. So let's kind of go over everything that is on this miter saw. So, um, like I said it is a 10 inch miter saw, it is sliding. As you can see there it has right over here is the the stop for the blade so that you can do blade changes which we're actually going to be changing out the blade today let's see uh, it does have this switch right here which is going to be the light also on the saw there is this little knob back here and that's going to lock it in place It'll keep it closed, you know, just for transport or anything like that. So right up here, you just pull it out and it unlocks it. Right down here, you see this little uh, lever here? This is the depth stop. So if you have it pushed in like that, when you lower the saw, when you lower the saw, that is gonna go right into that and that screw right here you can tighten this to adjust how deep or how low you want the saw to be able to go so if you just engage that you press down on the saw you can see that that screw is going to make contact there and that's as low as it's going to let the saw go Let's see, the adjustment here for the bevel is right in the back. You just loosen this. Oh, let's see. And it will tilt. You have up to a 45 degree tilt right there. And then just tighten that when you have it to where you need it. Now, as far as dust collection, I don't have any kind of um, vacuum dust collection or anything. So this is just the bag it comes with. Slides on over here, and there is a zipper on the bottom for easy emptying of that. You got this adjustment here. You just loosen this knob, pull that trigger in the bottom, and you can adjust this angle. Left and right and then it'll click into place on the major marks on here. And then you just tighten that down and you're good to go. We are going to go ahead and do some cuts with the, this is actually the original blade that came with the saw. The original, I believe it's like a four, oh, 40 tooth general purpose blade that came with it. This is what we've been using for like I said, probably about 14-ish or so months. <clears throat> Let's make a few cuts with this blade and then we'll change out the blade. Okay, so we have this six foot piece of board and what we're gonna do is cut this into two foot pieces. Now this is a pressure treated 2x6, so we've got this tape measure here set at 2 feet, we'll draw that line, and the tape measure I'm using is actually just a Pittsburgh tape measure from Harbor Freight. We'll take this right angle, line that up there. And there's our line that we're going to be cutting. Now this clamp will actually come in handy right now because I don't have anything holding this 2x6. Uh, so once we make that cut that piece is going to want to fall. And so that's not going anywhere and then we will make our cut. Alright, 
And there's our two foot section of two by six. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change out this blade. So before we even go into getting this blade off, what we're gonna do first is unplug the saw. So that way there's no power to it. All right, now to do this blade change, first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take this Allen wrench screwdriver that is included with the saw, and we're gonna have to loosen this screw right here. We're gonna loosen this because if we flip up the guard, we're not able to get to that bolt right there to un uh, untighten the saw blade. So we'll loosen this screw. You don't have to take it out, it's just enough to get the, the guard out of the way. And so that exposes the nut right there. So we'll engage the stop on the blade. That stop is engaged, and we'll loosen this. Okay, so there's the nut, well, the bolt, I guess, right here, and then we'll pull off the blade. And we have our new blade right here. This is a 10-inch blade. It's a 62 that says it's a fine finish. Okay. We'll take out our blade. So this is a Vonti Pro. They are not a sponsor, but this is what I picked up. Um, I did look at some of the Diablo blades, but you know, really for how often I use the miter saw, I didn't really want to justify spending that amount on the Diablo blade. And I'm pretty sure I picked this setup for I think like 20 bucks. And two blades, so. We're going to try it out, see how it compares. I mean, the only comparison I have to go off of is the original 40-tooth blade that I was given, so... I feel like anything else is probably an upgrade. Put the blade on. The washer. And we'll take our bolt. Now these are reverse threaded, so it's a little counterintuitive. Put down our, our stop. Tighten this down. Okay, so now, after you've gone this far, don't forget that you still need to put that screw back in to hold this guard in its place. That's that. Now let's go ahead and make another cut. So we've got here a four foot section. But we'll take a two foot section again. Now the reason we're doing two feet again is because these boards are actually gonna be the boards that go on the walkway that we're gonna be working on. But I did want to take some extra time to do a separate video on this miter saw. This miter saw is, it's great. Like I said, I don't really use it as much anymore. When we first got started building, you know, garden beds and stuff like that, building tables and chairs, this miter saw saved us a whole bunch of time because originally what we were doing, and it sounds, it, it sounds silly now that we say it, but we had them at Home Depot cut all of our wood. We'd go to buy lumber and we'd have them make all of our cuts for us and I mean, yeah, they did it, but it was just nice to actually finally have a saw that would be for us to use at home and not really have to be waiting on, you know, Home Depot employees to, to do it for us. Okay, so we'll line this up. Oh, and also don't forget, you need to plug the power back in because you're not going to be making any cuts without that. All right, so this is the first cut with the new Avanti 62 blade. All right. 
So that's that. Let's compare them. So this is the finish we got from the 60-tooth blade. Very minimal rip out there in the bottom. And this is the cut with the 40-tooth blade. Now it looks a little rougher. There's a little more uh, uh, cut out right here. Some more on top. But I mean, overall, it seems, I would say, pretty similar. <coughs> okay, before I wrap up this video, I did want to show you guys this new cup I got. Let's see. I got this from... The name of the business is JD Outfitters. You can find them on Facebook, and she, uh, Daisy, over there, has all kinds of designs, uh, just like this, for the different tool brands. So there's like uh, Rigid, DeWalt, Craftsman, uh, Milwaukee, I believe, but she doesn't just have these, she also has tons of designs. So she sent me this one, and I just wanted to show you guys how cool it is. I mean, all right, y'all, so... Thanks for stopping by. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. This is just a short little uh, review on this Ryobi miter saw. There will be more reviews coming out in the future. Right now, I've got some stuff in the works. going to be redoing a walkway in front of our house. And then we're also uh, working on some chairs. or restoring some or refinishing some chairs that go along with the table. So hopefully we can get that finished here pretty soon in the next few days. But yeah, so I'll put uh, links down in the description to this miter saw, to these blades, and then to some of the tools that I use today. Uh, if, but if you enjoyed this video, I ask you to please like the video on the bottom, comment anything you'd like to see done differently, anything you enjoyed, and please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell notification so that way you are notified every time I upload new videos, but that is going to do it for this one, so we'll see you in the next one.